Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be here, but I wouldn't wait too long. Nos Astra has recently received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. 
Wow, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Interesting. Tall blue rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Blue Rose of Ilium, you have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead? to fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us, here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with love. And I stand here, humble and mute, to offer you a home. Come to me. Blue Rose of Ilya. Let our three hearts beat as two. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. Blue Rose of Ilium. You have blossomed in a tower of glass and plastic. But beauty under glass is untested and weak. Where are your honored dead? To fertilize the ground that you might grow strong. On the rocky plains of Tachanka, I will build you a garden from the bones of my ancestors. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle that is us, here and now. I am speechless. Not with blood rage, but with... What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless. Ilium. 
Which I know, Let Krogan, roots, so it's deep, hard to believe. His name is Char. Chaka. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, Turn wooing me. It's really bad. For if our love so why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. It's just... we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. And Eclipse girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'm... Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything? You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Welcome to Baria Frontiers. Our sales kiosk is over there. Shepard, I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. 
The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract, which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? Phew, where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the Embassy. The other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. I thought 
thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the Embassy, the other was a greeter for the Consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. A I didn't... Grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... 
Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Spectres are authorized by what? the Council. It Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their I'm oaths. I'm looking for Samara. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. You did it! I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not... Doing whatever you do. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. No, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. They should be prohibited from breeding. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So... You probably never really got to know him, did you? Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make. But sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're... you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood.
You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Ilium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? Asari skin color and the Doppler effect? Dad, just get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when you've got a moment. Her first mate? Your father? He got her things when he traveled. It's not a competition, Dad. You don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. Not a fish. Something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at? I might have been one of them. Samara's still at the commercial spaceport if you're looking for her. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. I didn't mean... Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. Sources say that the Asari Shaira more... Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. Then come That's to the fish thing. dog food shack. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited time. Or for the cost. Ready to go find your assassin? I need some more time. I can wait. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical. You want to know a secret? I had it done a few years back. Galactic beauty salute. All right. <sighs> Let's do it. <sighs> Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. <sighs> oh, of course. I, uh... <sighs> I just need to make a call. I should, uh... <sighs> Check the warranty first. Loser. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. You're insane. I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright? Standing. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. I was misled! I was told that you had agreed to sell! Take her away, before I have my bartender throw her out.
What happened? The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. She wasn't a cop. She was using you to try to take over this bar. What? No. But, but she said... But she was pretty and blue. She wanted to get coffee. And she smiled when she said coffee. I'm pretty sure it was a euphemism. I screwed this up, didn't I? I screw everything up. Damn it, I'm so stupid. Who was I to think I could do what you do? You did fine. Thanks for holding the reins while I was gone. It's good to know that someone cared. Really? Really. You did a great job, Conrad. Now please, go home. Let me take it from here. Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry. Just looking That's around. It. Pleasure as always. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. I've got a lot on my plate. Remind me who the Shadow Broker is. He's the most powerful and dangerous information broker in the galaxy. No one knows who he is. Given his resources, there's speculation he may actually be a group operating under one name. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Damn it, Liara, I came to talk to you, not help with your petty vendettas. I'm so close, Shepard. I've been hunting for almost two years now. I can't do this without you. I don't have the technical skill to reconstruct the data, and the Shadow Broker only refers to his agents by race and profession. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. 
you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The leading provider of cutting-edge indentured service, Indenture Tech can provide contract guaranteed labor for any technical area. Contact Indenture Tech today. You've been a slave to your employees for too long. sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks. They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business. Followed by a freeze as new colony plants dry up. Just watch. So, so. <sighs> Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says... I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we can do, sir. Are you a Quarian or Volus who is tired of being passed over for promotions because of discrimination against exosuit wearing and Horizon has other council species looking to their own security. The Turian fleet is reportedly bolstering its crew complement, while the Salarian Special Tasks Group is reportedly investigating the colony attacks. The Caden Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. Alenko, a grand... Five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nixeris. She got the information. Nixeris gave me the information. Nixeris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later.
this is the best you have, I'll make do. <sighs> but you're certain the neural stimulator took a thing wrong. This one doesn't have time for your solid waste excretions. He's got a number in every port and a gun oh. every tentacle. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixera's had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nexeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nexeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? How's your own work going? I'm still waiting. Still hunting. The Shadow Broker can't hide forever. Even with Nyxeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up. And I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Your friend? The one who helped recover my body from the Shadow Broker? The same. He sacrificed himself to save me. I'd never found anything suggesting he was alive. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. If he's been the Shadow Broker's prisoner for two years, he may not be in good shape. I know. Yesterday, all I wanted was the chance to avenge his death. Today, he's alive. I'll do whatever I have to do to get him back. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard.
would like to offer a clarification of our special report on notorious assassin Thane Krios. While Elian News did credit Thane Krios' legendary skill to his drill heritage, no offense to the drill community was intended. Elian News does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Tarosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. 